Hello YouTube and welcome to What The Math. Today I'm looking at another awesome educational game called Crazy Plant Shop. This time it's a biology game that features some of the most amazing uh, biological concepts all in one little game. Actually, it's only based on uh, Mendelian biology, which is probably one of the more difficult topics. So let's just stop talking and get into this. I'm gonna erase my old data just to show you what the game is like from the beginning. Choose a, between a male and a female. I'm gonna choose this purple female. And uh, Mendel comes to your little shop and tells you... Hello, I am the landlord, Gregor Mendel. Thank you for renting the shop. You're going to be selling plants, yeah? Yes, I am. And he basically gives you a shop to sell plants. Now, the cool thing about this is that it's really easy to get into. It has a really good tutorial and it tells you how to play the game. So you have your first order, first orders. I say, I never knew there was a plant shop here. Please do call me Mr. Winsley. Be a good chap and get me one of these born axe things. Rather exciting looking, aren't they? And this is my first quest, get him a plant. So this is a pretty easy quest. Basically, you pick up a plant. Uh, where is it? Oh no, where's my plant? Oh, there it is, okay. Uh, to pick up the plant and put it down here. This is how the game works. And essentially, you, uh, your orders get more complicated as you progress through levels. Your service is impeccable. But let me just show you what it's like when you have to actually start using Mendelian. Um, oh, and yes, you discover these uh, awesome alleles for every, uh, every one of your plants. And as you go through the game, you unlock more and more alleles, more and more plants, and each of the plants can be... Uh, you can hybridize them, you can actually turn them into different plants or different alleles from, and create new plants. And some of the orders actually are very difficult because some of them will require you to really think hard and try to create new plants. So let's actually, let me show you some of the more difficult levels. Ah, I forgot to give you the breathing machine. And this is the breathing machine he just gave me. So basically using this, I can combine plants to create various um, uh, modifications. So here's my order. Maestro Porto Pigeon, at your service. Would you like to enter my plant competition? Yes, and this competition is to create a heterozygous plant. So let's just look at this. So this is a boring axe. It says genotype right here. And this this game will actually give you a dictionary for each of the terms as well. So if you're not sure what something means, just click on this. Genotype. The combination of genes passed on to offspring. And it tells you what it is. So every uh, biological definition is in the game and it's uh, well explained. So this is a homozygous plant that has two white alleles. I'm going to put it right here in the machine. And I'm going to pick another one right here. This is a gray boring axe. Uh, and it's a gray boring axe that's also homozygous. And if you know your biology, combining two homozygous plants uh, will give you... Uh, heterozygous, four heterozygous plants, so this is either random or you can actually assign it as as, um, as non-random. Uh, and it also explains to you what planet squares are, so if you click on this, planet squares are about breeding plants, and it tells you everything about planet squares, you can read this uh, at your leisure, and it also describes it to you in words. So for example... Sexual plants produce offspring that are genetically different from the parent or parent. Exactly. Uh, so I'm gonna choose this right here, it doesn't actually matter because they're all the same. Um, and this will create, and uh, I have to pull the lever to breed my plant, and this will create a heterozygous. There you go, heterozygous boring axe. Even though it's uh, uh, gray color, and it will actually explain to you why it's gray color because it's dominant. If you click on dominant, it will tell you what dominant is. Dominant trait, a trait that is most likely to appear in offspring. So my boring axe is dominant for gray. And I can complete my order now and get some rewards. Good try, but I, I didn't win this competition, unfortunately. Uh, but I will win it next time. So now I have a new client. A new client wants me to... Excuse me. Hello. Hello. What can we get for this much? Uh, for three gold, you can... Something cool. Yeah. You can get a white uh, boring axe. You want that? You want that, kids? Yes, that's all I'm going to give you. Actually, no, I'm going to keep this one because I, I need this one. Oh, no, I don't. I already have two. Uh, here you go, kids. Go play with Holly. it. Was fast. Go play with your boring axe. Thank you for coming. Enjoy your boring axe. I just had the most bizarre night after singing. So all of the clients are uh, voiced. Uh, they do have a, a really nicely recorded voices. Uh, there's also all kinds of plants. So this is right here. This is a cactus, an asexual plant that you basically um, here. I'll show you how how you reproduce the non-sexual plants. Asexual plants. You just put them in here and. Uh, they will have a slightly different reproduction. So there's no, uh, there's no any, um, what you call them? There's no pinot squares. You just have to basically pull this, and this will create a copy, a genetical copy of your 
asexual plant. So now I have two cacti, pink cacti. You also have a plant catalog. So right now I have three plants. I have hen chicks, boring axe, and cactus. There's a bunch of others you can unlock. There's actually several pages of them. Um, and they're always randomly generated. So all of these quests, all of these uh, orders are randomly generated every day. You basically um, go through your day, try to collect as much money as possible. And as you use your machine, your energy right here decreases. So when you have no more energy, you have to end the day. And the thing is, you actually have to collect as many plants as possible in 13 days, in two weeks, basically. So this game ends after 13 days, and then you can restart it and it will be actually randomly generated from, from, from scratch. But as you progress, it gets really, really difficult. Um, I think some of the levels I couldn't even solve because they required some really, really crazy uh, thinking. And my biology is not that good. Um, good afternoon. Can I purchase here's an example. Three of your cactus plants? She wants three tall and prickly cacti. Now, I only have... Oh, that's hen chicks. Never mind. That's not even cactus. I can order cactus. If I go here, I can order... I guess, let's just say two random cacti. Because none of these tall prickly. This is just short. So I'm going to order two random cacti. And they will become my new cacti friends. This is a... This is a what? Oh, this is non-prickly. This is soft. I think this is a soft cactus. You can usually tell by the appearance, but this one is kind of difficult. Let's just go into machine and find out. So, can I make a tall one? Yes, I can make a tall. Let's make a tall cactus. And then the second allele is going to be prickly. Tall and prickly cactus coming up, lady. All right. I actually have to change my order to tall and prickly cactus. Then I'm gonna put it on the table. She wants three of these. I have to make, do this three times. And this is one more more difficult quest where you have to use two alleles to create a dual allele uh, creation. I'm gonna keep these cacti here because I'll need them for future reference. Uh, and there we go. Three cacti coming up, lady. And this is your order. This will do. And she gives me 18 gold as a reward. Excellent. Thank you. And basically, oh, and I discovered a new allele. I discovered a fluffy allele from this cactus. So now I can make a fluffy cacti. And I also have a new species of plants, sweetie. Now I have sweetie right here. Don't even know what that is. Uh, and this is how the game works. Um, if you know music and noise, you can always turn it off. Or you can change tune. And um, oh, it's a really simple game, but at the same time, it's a really, really awesome uh, biological sort of educational game that will teach you everything about Mendelian biology and how to, you know, create new plants, how uh, alleles work, how uh, reproduction works. A really, really great simulation of, of this really boring, to be honest, topic. Uh, but this is well done. This is definitely well done. Any biology teacher struggling with this topic, give your kids this, give them a day, and they'll be masters of alleles. Alright, and that's, I think that's it for me. Uh, thank you for watching. Please subscribe, check out some of the other videos about games I posted. And good luck to you, and bye-bye.